Hi, this is James from Square Internet with another WordPress tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can change the color of the buttons on your WooCommerce store. There are basically two ways of doing this. The first way is by using the built-in customizer options in your theme to edit the style of your button and the color of your button using the options that are provided within your theme. And the second method is by using custom CSS to target the button class or specific button class that you want to style. So I'm using Divi theme on my WP Woo Tutorials website, which does come with some built-in customization options that I can use to change the color of my WooCommerce button, which right now just has a, uh, a light blue border. So to do this, I would need to, if I'm on the product page, I can just uh, come up here to the top menu, hover over here and come to Theme Customizer, or from within the dashboard, I just need to find my Customizer option. I'm just going to open that up in a tab alongside my example product. Just let this sort itself out a second. For some reason, my customizer is being a bit slow today. Okay, there we go. So it's just sorting itself out. So on Divi, there aren't as many WooCommerce specific options as other themes and themes that are geared towards WooCommerce, for example. Um, but you can do most of the basics within Divi just not probably where you'd expect to find the options so you really need to know Divi to know what you're doing really but if you look at the options we have here in the customizer menu we can see buttons so you might think to look in WooCommerce but there's not actually an option to apply classes to WooCommerce buttons specifically so what we would have to do is we can either change the styling on all of our buttons and it will also affect this button here because even though it's a WooCommerce button, it is a button. Or we can apply some specific CSS just to the WooCommerce button. So I said I'd show you how to do that and I'll show you that in a second. I'm just going to show you how to actually change the styles on all of the buttons if you wanted to go with that method. Uh, if you've just got a small WooCommerce store it might not matter to you to apply the styling globally to all buttons so as you can see we can change a lot of stuff here we've got text size, text color, background color, width, the radius, we can change the font style, pick a font we can also add an icon which is kinda cool so um, let's add an icon as well why not see if I can find something that's relevant um, mm, I guess that, that we'll stick with that for now. Um, okay, let's show you how to change the color of the button anyway, because that's what the tutorial is about. So we want to look at the background color of the button, which is going to change the actual color of the button. So I've actually got a color up here on my color picker, but it's the wrong color. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that color that we have on the border using this uh, Chrome extension to get the um, the color. And then I'm going to open up the background color and paste that in there. Press Enter. And if I publish my changes, I probably won't see the text now, but the background color should change like so. Cool, so and we've got our little icon there now as well. So all I need to do now is uh, make the text white, which it already is, which is weird. So I'm not sure why that's not working. Um, Oh, 
Okay, that was weird. But we can now see the text again, and we've changed the color of the button. And when we hover over it, it's got a, uh, a light gray background color set. So we can still see the button. So that looks fine for now. So that's how you can change the color of the button using your theme options. Uh, make sure you check for a WooCommerce tab in your customizer, because a lot of themes have more options available for WooCommerce built into the actual customizer options than uh, Divi, which is more of a just all around, all purpose theme, good for a lot of things. And the other method that we could use would be to apply some custom CSS, which I've just got to go into the Divi tab in here to apply my CSS. So the other thing I could do would be to inspect the button element for the single button on the single product, find the class for the button. which is this, and then I can apply some CSS to it. So let's give this a try. So background color, uh, let's try red. I might have to override the current styles. <clears throat> oh no, it worked. So, uh, yeah, so the second way is to go into your dashboard and find the area where you can input custom CSS. Every theme is different. Uh, in Divi, it's in general theme options. Scroll down to the custom CSS. Or if you have a, a child theme set up, which you should do ideally, uh, you can do it via the, the editor, by actually going into the editor. And going into your child theme files and opening up the .css uh, file and typing in your CSS there. But just to finish up this tutorial and make it so that we can see the button, uh, I'll just change the color on the button to white. And there we go. So we've changed the background color, we've changed the text so we can see everything. And when we hover over it, we've now got a cool little effect where our uh, icon shows up as well, which is quite nice. And you can see how you could use this method to style your own buttons to the color that you'd like, the font that you'd like. Uh, so you can, you know, alter just about anything. Um, if not through the customizer, then through custom CSS, such as the font, the color, the background color, the style, the hover effects, you name it. So two simple methods for you to change the color of the buttons on your WooCommerce store. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a like and a share and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm releasing new WordPress and WooCommerce tutorials all the time. And if there's anything specific you'd like to see covered or a video on, just let me know. And if I can, I'm, I'm happy to help you. Thanks very much for watching. See you on the next video. Cheers.